It is a dangerously cold one in the Midwest and especially here in the Northeast. We want you to look at this shot of frozen floodwaters in Duxbury, Massachusetts. Not far away near Boston, we have the Charles River, which is frozen over as well. And then to the south, the Schuylkill River near Philly, also iced over. And in South Carolina, check out this guy drinking beer on his <laughs> above ground pool. Uh, this situation, though, is not a joke, wow. although I love this picture. This morning, wind chills in some spots could be negative 30 or 40 degrees, Ooh. which can produce frostbite in as little as 10 minutes. Um, that's reason number uh, 3 million and one to stay inside and not go outside. Here in New York City, Sunday is forecast to be the 13th straight day below freezing. That's the longest stretch in nearly 57 years. So the big question, when will we get relief? So let's think, start things off with Rob. We're going to hold off that answer for just a bit. I'll, I'll touch no. on it. Come on. It's the, it's yeah. the duration of this, the yeah, longevity yeah. of this cold that's really been exceptionally brutal. It's going to be a top three, as you mentioned. Since 1961, we haven't seen a stretch like this below freezing in New York. And places like Raleigh goes down to the south. Similar stretches, if not all-time uh, uh, record-breaking stretch there. And look at the wind chills all the way from Maine down and through South Carolina today. This polar air coming in, reinforcing this is the coldest stuff right now. Minus 8 to, in New York City for a wind chill. But look at this. Minus 30 to Minus 40 in Saranac Lake in upstate New York. And tomorrow we don't warm up a whole lot. We're not really going to warm up until the end of this week. So dangerous cold coming in here. And as, as you saw that one picture in through parts of Boston in the south, south part there, frozen coastal flooding there. I don't think I've ever seen that. And with us live this morning is Eva Pilgrim just up the road in Boston proper. Hi, Evan. Hey, hey, Rob, it is frigid here right now. It feels like 15 below zero and this cold weather just adding insult to injury. Much of the East Coast still recovering from that winter storm. Many airports struggling to get back to normal. This morning, some calling it chaos. Passengers stranded inside terminals and on tarmacs at JFK in New York. Weary travelers waiting for hours overnight to deplane. On the tarmac, we've now entered hour six. Inside, huge crowds. Airports across the U.S. struggling to recover from the East Coast storm. It's got to be a lot of snow to close an airport down. In Charleston, South Carolina, airport officials shutting it down for lack of snow removal equipment. We're not equipped like you would be, say, in Boston. You know, we expect this kind of weather maybe once every 10 years. On the ground, residents assessing the damage. That was the water line. The white? The yeah. Snow. Oh. Yeah, so that's how high the water was back here. In Massachusetts, storm surge adding insult to injury, cascading on the streets and into basements. Officials now saying this was the highest tide ever recorded in Boston. If anyone wants to question global warming, just, just see where the flood, flood zones are. Those zones didn't flood 30 years ago. The Charles River, now a frozen blanket of snow and ice. In Winthrop, Massachusetts, cars in driveways destroyed. Can't even get in the back. Crews racing to clear roads, trying to figure out what to do with all that snow. Where do you put it? So we're going to do some removal operations with our snowblower. You can only plow so much. The storm taking at least eight lives. In Long Island, two dead after cleaning up snow. And these temperatures are not just cold, but they are dangerous. As you guys were mentioning, it doesn't take long to get frostbite in these temperatures. Where I am right now, less than half an hour. Guys, oh, it's so cold outside. And Eva, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.